Hello. C Drama greets you. Today we are talking about the Chinese drama Hidden Love EP6. Sang Zi confidently stated that she couldn't resist temptation, and if someone close to her was in a romantic relationship, she would also want to be in one. Duan Jixu immediately shut down Sang Zi's idea of finding her old boyfriend, and Sang Zi breathed a sigh of relief, realizing that she hadn't revealed her true intentions. Duan Jixu's tutoring efforts with Sang Zi yielded good results, but he wouldn't be coming anymore. Sang Zi felt disappointed, visibly unhappy. But Duan Jixu made a promise to reward her every time she made progress in the future, which made Sang Zi happy again. After class, Sang Zi's parents invited Duan Jixu to celebrate the Chinese New Year's Eve together, but he politely declined, saying he would return to the school. Sang Zi was somewhat disappointed and quickly went back to her room to fetch the prepared red envelope. Worried that he might refuse it, she wrote a small note wishing him a happy new year, folded it into a small star, and put it inside the red envelope, discreetly making her way downstairs. The family was busy with New Year's Eve preparations, and Sang Zi secretly stuffed the red envelope into Duan Jixu's coat. On New Year's Eve, Sang Zi and Sang Yan had agreed to visit their parents and receive red envelopes. Sang Zi received a new mobile phone as a red envelope gift from her father while Sang Yan's red envelope was thinner, and Sang Zi even snatched it away from him. Duan Jixu sent a New Year's greeting, and Sang Zi's lips immediately curved into a smile as she quickly replied with her own well wishes. Duan Jixu spent New Year's Eve alone in the school dormitory but received a call informing him that his father had a lung infection and needed immediate surgery. He was asked to come and sign the consent form. So, Duan Jixu returned to Uai on New Year's Eve. After the school reopened, Sang Zi received the reward sent by Duan Jixu and only then learned that he had returned to Yai. After their first meeting, Sang Zi began to look forward to whether Sang Yan would bring Duan Jixu home. She was disappointed when Duan Jixu didn't come with Sang Yan on one occasion. Sang Yan said that Duan Jixu was focused on making money, which piqued Sang Zi's curiosity. However, when she learned that none of Sang Yan's roommates had partners, she felt relieved. Sang Zi was delighted to receive the gift sent by Duan Jixu, a small black dog plush toy that seemed familiar like Sang Yan. She also wanted to send something to him, but was rejected by Duan Jixu. They agreed to meet at Duan Jixu and Sang Yan's graduation ceremony, so Sang Zi planned to consider that as her graduation gift. After hanging up the phone, a girl came to meet Duan Jixu and gave him some money, expressing her concern about him working so hard, but Duan Jixu's reaction was indifferent. On the day of the graduation ceremony, Sang Zi arrived with her father and saw Duan Jixu wearing a graduation gown. Her eyes sparkled for three minutes, and she quickly handed him the flower she was holding, but she didn't have time to take out the gift she had hidden behind her back. Duan Jixu bid farewell to his classmates knowing that they might not see each other often in the future. Sang Zi couldn't help but worry if she would be able to meet Duan Jixu after graduation but he quickly reassured her that he was different from those people, and whenever he had time he would come back to visit Sang Zi. Duan Jixu called a nearby classmate and took a photo with his sister. During the evening gathering, everyone was having fun, but Duan Jixu seemed infinitely sad. He was going back to Uai, and Sang Yan was also feeling upset. Duan Jixu intended to take the intoxicated Sang Yan home and stay at a hotel but Sang Zi's mother insisted that he stay and sleep in Sang Yan's room. Sang Zi quickly led Duan Jixu upstairs and went to prepare toiletries. If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.